We are back now with a News 4 exclusive. Millions watched DeMar Hamlin's collapse and sudden cardiac arrest in the middle of Monday Night Football. And what happened to the Buffalo Bills safety has likely happened near your own community as well. It's why automated external defibrillators, or AEDs, are required in places like state schools. But the I-team found gaps in those laws and the potential safety of many kids who play youth sports. John Chandler has the story. In a split second, sudden cardiac arrest can strike. And then, every second matters. When DeMar Hamlin dropped to the turf on Monday Night Football, Jordan Schoen knew all too well. My phone blew up. They were like, are you watching the Bills game? I think what happened to him happened to you. And I was just, all I said was, I hope they have an AED. An AED shock saved Hamlin, and five years ago, saved Jordan, too, when he collapsed at a basketball game. But only after a police officer in the stands grabbed the AED from his car. He passed the school defibrillator. Nobody in the gym that day knew the life-saving device was hanging on the wall. There wasn't a reaction from the school in the sense of the people that were there to know what to do. So Jordan's mom, Alice, partnered with Dana Colasante to form Saving Active Hearts. Dana's husband also survived sudden cardiac arrest thanks to an AED. The ambulance didn't get there until way after that all had happened. Minutes matter. The American Heart Association says with an AED shock in the first minute, 90% survive. By the third minute, 75% may live. But after five minutes, the survival rate drops below 50%. It's why AEDs are required by law in tri-state schools. But the I-Team found that doesn't cover private camps and independent youth sports leagues, putting thousands who play outside of school events at risk. Where's the equipment? Where's the personnel? How are we going to close the gaps? Last year, Assemblyman Stephen Otis introduced a bill in New York to require non-school youth sports to have an AED device with someone trained to use it. But his bill remains stuck in committee. It's unacceptable that we would lose lives uh, under these circumstances. The New Jersey hockey rink where Michael Fisher collapsed in 2010 had no AED. Had the AED been on site, it probably could have saved his life. After losing their son, Daniel and Justina Nice were hopeful change would come from a bill in Michael's name. You don't want anyone to go through what we went through because of a inexpensive piece of equipment wasn't there. But it was vetoed by then Governor Chris Christie. He reasoned 20 to $40 million was too steep and worried it would price some families out of rec sports and camps. The average cost for an AED is around $1,500. You save one life, it's worth spending the money. There is hope for a new bill in New Jersey and in Connecticut, school AED laws require that an emergency action plan is put into place. It's one of just five states in the country to do so. But in New York and New Jersey, training remains a blind spot. National statistics show that 40% of the time, an AED is never put into use before EMS crews arrive. The American Heart Association says four out of five teens will die from sudden cardiac arrest outside of a hospital. Jordan knows he beat long odds and now wants to see change. You have ice if you like hit your knee. Why well, don't you have a defibrillator if you go into cardiac arrest? I think the climate is out there that the parents want to know that their kids are protected. The chair of the New York State Assembly's Health Committee tells the I team that Otis's bill is now on the health committee's agenda. Meanwhile, the nieces are urging parents to talk to coaches and to their leagues about an AED plan to reassure themselves that one is in place or to know if one needs to be put in place. John Chandler, News 4 New York.